G'day guys, uh, interesting one today, came out to a um, house here in Bassendine, uh, there's a water leak, okay, uh, came here and they've had, um, they put this uh, Ikea wooden sort of flooring stuff over the top of the paving to make it look a bit better, and the whole thing was lifted up and there was heaps of water there, I said this is a really bad leak, I haven't seen it this bad for, for so long, the actual pavers were pulled up and stuff like that, or, you know, all pushed up, um, so I've dug it out and you can see inside that and one pipe, which I think is going to be the hot pipe, has blown and it's shot out sideways into the cold pipe and it's just cut it in half, like the sandblasting, just cut the whole thing in half. And so then, then it had the, the leak that was going, plus the cold pipe has been cut in half now, so that was just blasting out as well. And that's why it all, you know, swelled up. Now, we've had a, oh, probably three times in my lifetime where, like, the hot main or whatever has blasted up into the gas and punched the hole and filled the gas main up more. Well, Luckily, this was in the same trench, but it was avoiding the um, the gas pipe, which was lucky. But um, yeah, I'll show you that now. A bit of the you know the mess that's uh, that's left here and the, the pipes and stuff. So I pulled up this IKEA decking stuff, and you know the pavers are all pulled up. So I'll show you here. You see, so here's the here's the hole, obviously that's uh, coming out. So that's just sprayed this way, and with that sand that was swirling, it just it's just cut through this pipe. And so, the, yeah, the pipe's been pushing water, and so it's going to have sand and everything gone up in, into that pipes. And, um, yes, yeah, so it's just cut it through. So you can see the power of it. So very lucky that it wasn't, you know, facing up this way into the gas, because then, again, it just fills the gas up with water, fills the meter up, everything, the hot water system, everything would be, um, have to be cleared out. So what I'll do is I'll just turn the water on, and then um, you can see it where, where it's coming out. I'll just turn it on a little bit around here. I'll just turn it on slightly, all right? It's got a little bit of water coming out now. You can see how it would have cut through the pot nice and cleanly. Totally stuffed it, you know. So, anyway, we'll cut those two sections out, fix them up, and then uh, they'll sort it out then. Okay, guys, I've um, got it all sorted and uh, fixed up, but yeah, I'll, show you the, um, I'll show you the repair and then I'll show you the pipe. So, here's the repair, just hook them both on, cramp them all, but you can just see the, um, the hot pipe here. Is, is really um, something, you know, something in that soil have just eaten it away. That's why I don't rate copper that much, mate. You know, anything in the soil can just, especially when it heats up, you get that sort of bit. So I think the hot pipe is burst first, I reckon, because you can see that's the one's been taken out. And that's what punched the hole into the um, into the cold, and then the cold just gone back, and because it's higher pressure, just, you know, cut through that hot main. So anyway, that's what it is. So, um, you know, back in the day when they said do it proper, do it pop copper, uh, didn't write it. If it's in the ground, mate, I think uh, you, you're far far better off going with the, you know, the plastic, like the, the Ozpex or one of those Rehal or something like that uh, pipe because it doesn't get affected by chemicals and, and all that sort of gear. So anyway, um, I probably think this is going to happen again because, you know, if the rest of the pipe's like that, then, um, yeah, it's, it's going to just keep happening until we end up replacing. We've done quite a few of them. We've just taken up the paving, replaced it all, and then never had an issue again. Alright guys, uh, stay safe, uh, like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.